Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I just got off the phone with Gerard from Monstrum Tactical Support. And I had a question for him. And my question was, what the heck is this right here? What is that? What does it stand for? Does it stand for AL? Or is that an AI? Well, Gerard was welcomed nice enough and he's patient enough to work it through with me. And he found out that it stands for aluminum. And that brings us to the Monstrum Pro Series 7075 Aluminum AL Scope Rings. And if you stick around at the end of the video, I'll tell you why I thought it stood for AI. So when shooters think of Monstrum Tactical, they generally fall into two different categories. The first category being, well, the Monstrum, that's the pores. And then the second category are those who like their products, believe them to be dependable, find them to be very useful, and at a great price, plus some pretty decent customer service. Let us know in the comments down below which category you fall into. Do you think that Monstrum Tactical are the pores, or do you like their products? And while you're at it, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, eh, don't worry about it. Next one's going to be on me. Seeing as that rifle scopes have been around for almost 200 years... People have been mounting them on their rigs and getting the job done for a long time. It wasn't until the last, I don't know, 10 or 20 years where some companies have been making mounts and scopes way outside the average shooter's budget. So I guess the choice is up to you. And I'm glad for companies like Monstrum that can make a quality product like this at an affordable price. So just so you know, the first successful attempt to combine telescopic technology with a rifle was attributed to Morgan James of Utica during the 1830s. Yep, there was a lot of scope by back then, but that's a story for another video. These Monstrum Pro Series scope rings are made from 7075 CNC aluminum. The finish on these, I'm going to tell you something, guys, is outstanding. I really like it. There are no burrs and no rough edges. They're both marked on the bottom with the size of the rings. In this case, 30, let me show you right here, 30 millimeter. They also have the recommended inch pounds of force required to connect them to your Picatinny rail, as well as the height of the rings, in this case, 1.26 inches. Plus, they also have the recommended inch pounds for mounting them mounting your scope to them. Sorry about that. So they let you know how many inch pounds you need to put your scope and how many inch pounds to put on your Picatinny rail. Inside the box comes this T25 Torx Plus wrench. Also, they use number 8 to 32 3 8 inch Torx, Torx Plus socket screws. Try saying that 10 times fast. So these are made of steel. And finally, if you have a fat wrench or something that measures in inch pounds, you can connect this T25 Torx Plus socket. So that's very cool. And this is made from S2 steel right here, as you can see upside down right there. Sorry about that. You can see that from upside down. Let's try to get that focused. And there we go, bingo. So this isn't going to wear away on you or anything like that. So that's actually pretty cool. You know, seeing that I've run monster mounts in the past, I'm pretty confident these are going to hold up and meet my expectations. You're definitely going to see them in my next video for my Ruger American Predator uh, with its upgrades and stuff like that. That's going to be the next video coming out. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up to help out the channel. If you didn't, don't worry about it. The next one's definitely going to be on me. And let me hear what you think down below about these particular rings. If you have them, if you own them, you have any experience with them, let us know. Give us a shout. Talk to each other. Keep our community strong. In the meantime, practice proper firearm safety technique at all time. Charlie Mike. Charlie Mike. That's right. I'm still poor, bitch. What did you think I forgot? Yeah, I did, actually. I've got to tell you why I thought this was AI instead of AL. I thought that it meant all-inclusive, which it gives you the Torx wrenches and it gives you all the stuff that you need to install it. Not a lot of scopes. I can't think of too many scope companies that actually give you everything you need to install their scopes. That's pretty cool. But in the end, it was aluminum. See you guys in the next one.